A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. As Hurricane Milton escalates to a Category 3 storm, Florida braces for what could be its largest evacuation in seven years, with major population centers like Tampa and Orlando in its path. The National Hurricane Center reported early Monday that Milton is currently situated about 195 miles west-northwest of Progreso, Mexico, and 750 miles west-southwest of Tampa, packing maximum sustained winds of 120 miles per hour. The storm is moving east-southeast at 8 miles per hour and is expected to make landfall on Wednesday, likely impacting the Tampa Bay area and then traversing central Florida before heading into the Atlantic Ocean. This forecast comes as Florida continues to recover from the devastation caused by Hurricane Helene, which recently left a death toll of at least 230 across several southeastern states. In light of Milton's impending arrival, Governor Ron DeSantis has expanded the state of emergency to 51 counties, urging residents to prepare for potential power outages and to stock up on supplies. Approximately 7 million people were evacuated during Hurricane Irma in 2017, leading to severe traffic jams and long waits for fuel. Learning from past experiences, Florida officials are now staging emergency fuel and charging stations for electric vehicles along evacuation routes. DeSantis emphasized the importance of having a hurricane preparedness plan in place, stating, if you're on that west coast of Florida, barrier islands, just assume you'll be asked to leave. As the storm approaches, classes and school activities in St. Petersburg's Pinellas County have been canceled from Monday through Wednesday. The city of Tampa is also taking proactive measures by opening city garages free of charge for residents to protect their vehicles from floodwaters. National Guard troops are being mobilized to assist with debris removal, and FEMA is preparing to respond to Milton while still providing aid to those affected by Helene. The agency has already deployed thousands of personnel and resources, and President Biden has committed to supporting families in their recovery efforts. As residents prepare for the worst, the focus remains on safety and ensuring that everyone has the resources they need to weather the storm. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.